In the next few minutes, I'm gonna be unlocking the secrets behind the floating effect from my last video that did decently well. All right, we're gonna cover three things. We're gonna cover text pop-ups, we're gonna cover video or image pop-ups, and we're gonna cover this unique phone hologram type thing. Okay, so now that we're in DaVinci Resolve, we can start playing around with some of these edits. Um, people often overestimate how difficult some of uh, these effects are, but once you learn the basic fundamentals of these, you could apply them consistently to all the other effects that you kind of find online. So starting off with the text, if we go over here to titles, you'll notice all these pre-built titles from DaVinci Resolve. We don't want to focus on any of those because there isn't a lot of ability to customize these to your liking. But if we go to text plus, this will treat this text node as a video node. So you can apply the same effects that you would to your videos to this node. And that's exactly what we're after. So let's align this to the markers that I kind of set up here before this video. Um, I pretty much just want the text popping up when my hand pops up like that. Um, let's write text just for the purpose of this video. I want to keep it on this font, but put it to extra bold. I just like the look of this. Let's adjust the size right here. And then over here in the settings tab, we can position this to the left side of the screen, kind of where we want it. And I like it right there. Now, I think this text could pop a little bit. So let's add a shadow to it. So we wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't the text plus node. Since it is, we can apply a drop shadow. So over here in the open effects, instead of searching for it, let's just write drop shadow. Let's apply this to the node. And there we go. As we can see, it's already looking a bit better. We could play around with the parameters over here on the right, shadow strength. Uh, and let's bring it a little bit closer. Yeah, that's already popping a bit more. Now, for the effect, it's probably one of my favorite effects in DaVinci Resolve. Uh, I use it across all of my effects in all of my videos. It's the camera shake. So I have it favorited down here, but you can find it in the open effects right over here as well. So let's search camera shake and let's drag that over to the text node. So if we leave it as is on default, it's going to be moving a little bit too fast. It does look like it's floating, but it's a little bit too too rapid for my liking. So let's press on it, go to the effects. We'll see that drop shadow and camera shake is now here. We could close this up, open up camera shake. In the PTR speed section, this is one of the settings that we want to mess with. I almost always go to 0 0.100. Makes it a lot more smooth. I also like to put the randomness scale to zero to kind of keep it consistent. That's important for when this effects goes on for a lot longer. So yeah, now we can see it's floating a little bit, but it doesn't necessarily look like it's in the scene with me. It kind of still looks like it's above the video. So now if we go to the video tab, I like to mess around with the pitch and yaw settings. So let's add a bit of a down angle to that. Let's maybe put it to around 250. And then let's change the yaw to about 500. And then let's adjust that a little bit. We could even add some more. So it just puts it a little bit at an angle. It just kind of makes it look like it's in the scene with me. Um, another thing I could do is maybe give it a little bit less opacity. So let's maybe put that to about 80. So now let's see how that's looking. If we extended that out. I like the look of that. Okay, but let's cut it at that. Of course, then we could add transitions, either just a fade, fade in and a fade out, or any of these over here. Um, but we'll just keep it at like that for this video um, as we got the floating text. Okay, so now moving on to the video. So we've imported our video and we want to uh, pick a part of this video that we wanted to cut to. So let's say right here, there we go. Let's remove the audio. And now let's bring it to the point that we wanted at. So right about here, it's completely covering our frame right now. So over here, let's zoom that out a bit. Let's make it about that size. Let's adjust the positioning of it. And then just like the text, Let's add some pitch and some yaw. Now it's at an angle. 
Let's drop that down a little bit more. Let's lower the opacity so it's kind of seeping through the scene. Um, I also like to kind of trim the edges of this and allow them to blur in a little bit. I do that by going to cropping, lowering the softness of that a little bit. And then just like the text and any other effect, we add the camera shake. We go to PTR speed. 0.100 randomness scale all the way down to zero now let's find the point that we want to cut it to which will be this and there we go now that should be looking pretty good so now we got the floating text and we got the floating video okay so now moving on to the final one Okay, so if we want to do this phone hologram thing, we actually have to record something from our phone and import it to DaVinci Resolve. Once we have it here, let's find the spot where the scroll starts happening. So right about there. Perfect. So now on the left side, we could search for the transform effect. Drag it in here. Let's put our um, marker right above there. And from here, let's go to image adjustments, crop and uncrop. Let's add some rounding to the corners of the phone. So I like how that's looking. From here, let's right click and press create a new compound clip. Perfect. So let's put it over a frame here. And now we can start messing around with the position. So first, let's see here. Let's drag it over here to the left side. Let's make that a lot smaller. And just like the other effects, let's point it towards us so it looks like we're actually using this phone here. Okay, and then let's trim that down. If we're doing this on our own, we'll take a lot more time to align the, the scrolls with my finger movements. But for the purpose of the video, we'll just get the look of the effect going. So from here, let's go to the Fusion tab. Let's add some scan lines. Let's make sure that's connected there. Let's increase the line frequency. I normally do around 13. And then we could toy around with the colors. Like if it's a white frame, like some nice light blue colors might look good. But yeah, you could mess around with those two colors. Another thing that I like to add is some glow. So let's use this one right here. Let's maybe lower the glow size just a little bit. And let's see how that's looking. Okay, perfect. Let's lower the opacity just like the other one. Over here. Let's maybe bring that down to 80. And we can already kind of see how it's coming together there. We just line up the finger motion with the scroll of the iPhone recording. And then if we wanted to, we could add just a little bit of camera shake just like the other ones, reduce the randomness scale. And then we could even add a transition of our own by taking it completely out of frame, keyframing it here after two seconds, bringing it right back up to where it was to get an effect that looks like that. That pretty much covers everything. We got the text pop up. We got the video pop up and we got this unique floating phone hologram. All right, we're wrapping up our journey on how we make things flow in our DaVinci Resolve edits. I really hope you found some of this useful and you're a little bit excited to try these things out. And hey, this channel isn't just about me talking to you about the things that I want to talk about. It's ultimately about you. So if you got a cool effect or something that you're itching to learn about, please drop a comment and I'm here for all of it.